everyone, now I've been meaning to do this video for a long while and so I'm going to do it now. And that's the how to revise video and I did rem I do remember posting it up but then I think it didn't work. So before I do that, I'm just going to show you my nail design that I have created. It's just like a silver with a zebra print on it, a zebra print. If you want to um, check out my blog, I have this and a couple of other designs up. And yeah, so if you want to check it out, there will be a link right here, right here, and that will lead you to it. Um, so how to revise. There are four main things that you need to remember when revising. And the first reason is, um, the first thing that you need to remember is uh, confidence in yourself. If you haven't got confidence in yourself, then you're not going to be able to have confidence in an exam. So always remember to have confidence in yourself. And remember that um, you will get through it, and it will be end, it will be finished within a couple of months. So just remember to keep at it, and everything will pay off. The second thing that you should remember is that exams aren't as hard as they seem. They may have hidden messages in them, and they may be difficult, but sitting in an exam itself isn't as hard as you think it is. Just do the questions. If you don't know what they are. Just try something if it works, like especially with a maths one. If it works and you get the right answer, or you think you get the right answer, then keep it like that. If not, just keep trying. And another thing is when you're revising, don't procrastinate. Now this word is a very funny word that everyone might go, what well, does procrastinate mean? And it means to um, lose focus, and if you lose your focus, then you completely lose your revision cycle. And another thing that you should remember is to eat healthily when you're revising. Always have like a little bowl of snacks, um, healthy snacks though, so things like chunks of carrot, apple, peach, banana, things like that. Have it in a plate, on a plate with some little cocktail sticks and just eat them um, so you don't have to get up to eat, the, eat food when you get hungry. So that's another thing you need to remember. Another thing is shut off your computer if, you're, if you don't need to use it, your mp3 player and your phone, TVs, completely be in a zone without them. So if your room has a TV and a, and a radio, not a radio, but your mp3 player and your phone, take out those electricals. You can keep your radio because music does help you revise because it, it passes the time. So keep your radio with you. Um, and that's most of the things. Um, another thing that you can use when you're revising is um, post-it notes or flashcards. And what I like to do is I like to write myself a question and on the reverse side write the answer and then stick them on my wall or on a wall that I'm using and go along and play a game. So I time myself and I write down the answers on a piece of paper and then afterwards, after like three minutes, I stop and then I look at all the answers and I see which ones I got right and which ones I got wrong and then try the ones that I got wrong again. So that's another way that I do it. Um, another thing that I like to do is get an old newspaper, not newspaper, an old wheel, wheel, roll, roll, get, get an old roll of news, not newspaper, wallpaper, so like this behind me and draw around yourself and make a man or a woman and draw on loads of different strategies of doing things, loads of rules that you need to remember, words that are of significance to your exam, and then a finger you can relate to, to I don't know, the area of a triangle, or how to find the area of, of a right angle triangle. And then your middle finger might be um, the area of a circle. And you can remember those things with the fingers, like with your fingers, so that's how I did it, and I got an A in my maths, so come on. <laughs> so that's another way to try it. Um, and yeah, that's all I can say really. Um, just try and stick at it, and in the end, it is gonna, everything's going to be okay, and you will finish your exams. I have four left, and I had 12, um, and two of them I'm doing next week, and then I have two left, and... I mean, come on, I've nearly gone through them all, and they're okay. They are scary, and they are um, not very nice, but at the end, you will finish your exams, and just remember to stay calm, and you should be okay.
yeah, that's my video. I hope it wasn't too long. Thanks guys for watching and I hope this helps. Bye.